the touchline continues this particular Saturday afternoon. Which date is it? It is 14th, 15th of January, the year 2022, and we hope that this year will be uh, a fantastic one, considering what we going through in the name of COVID-19 pandemic. We hope that we will continue observing containment measures to combat this particular vice. Polosa Paul is still with us here in the studio. Is the tournament director for Code Bureau. Uh, tournament and Ken Andrew, of course, my guest co-host is still with us this particular afternoon. So, Bolosa, to look at Naongea Kusu Championship, at Nairobi, by the way, kuna tournaments mingi zina happen, eh, Oboya Cup, Pale South B, eh, Chris Darlin, Pale Kibra, E Kot Biro, na kuna ingini ilikuwa inaitua OT, OT, OT Father, OT Father, ili enda habi, by the way? Ili ni ajeriko, kunuangalia tiki tumoja ni mkombia, kuna tuna miti ni hard sana, sana challenges unapata kutoka from within, ili ya mtuwa hiko pati yu kitu wana ifight, kama ajeriko wa kufai kwa na excuse atu wana tournament, wakuna kamputu wewe, wana kiwanja mzuri sana, na wakijuliza swali, kwa nina wana tournament, lakini pia kuna kitu moja pia mawakatisia, kako tbiro sayu kiangalia, last 16, timza ziwani, hakuna timata moja ziwani ya host, Ukicheza gazili tunamaliza jiriko, unafika finali, mnambua, mmetolewa, mnambua, mnagiuzi wa giuzi wa. Hakuna gile ukweli kabisa. Oh, so transparency ni. Hawezi nda kwa batu luna juu, nda kushindua. Nda kupigua, uta nda hapu. So yundu liwa katisiaga jiriko. Kwa tibidu ya kitu metusaidia ni hivu, utapata team za ziwa ni aziko. Na mara mingi utapata tunamentu mingi sana. Hizi zote zinachezo, wendo kwa ulize vile likuwa, vile hosta wana tritiwa. Wana favor ma team zao. Mm. So sisi siku zote tuwaga atu a, team ni ball ball chile tuwa ground. Mm. Uh. So uh, this time round unaona kutakuwa na smooth sailing championship itaisha vizuri. Finals ni lini by the way? Iyo weekend ya last ya hii uh, hi januari. Mm. Uh, Kuna fa kwa tuwa 22nd lakini tumesongesha. Alafu uh, kila kitu kwa smooth, kila kitu kwa poa. Uh, thanks to Richard Ngatia, sinukombia President mm. Chambers of Commerce. And oh, kama Nairobi, Nairobi Governor. Nairobi. Uh, Anapenda bola ama mekuja juu ya... ya ya politics ya 2022. Ujamaa alikuwa tisha kutana au kitamu kidogo. Uh -huh. Alikuwa na fuatilia mamba ball sana. Uh -huh. Anapenda ball. Kiangalia hata ile ana club yake hapa. Ni kewa na sujuke itu hapo. Oh. Hapo no wizo screen zote. Vitu mingi zumefanyika pale utikenda pale za football. So anajua importansi ya football. Kama businessman. Ukiangalia zile property and own. Unajua tu. Ana, akuna passion ya sports. Ukiangalia hizo uh, joints zake. Ukiangalia screen kubwa. Ball. Watu nona hapo. Vitu kama hizo nona. Afu ni poa sana sahi. Amerudi mashinani. Mm. Oh, na mali anazia ndiyo hapo. Na Ken, what do we do to attract those uh, business moguls in Kenya to start pumping their resources in Kenyan sports? Like Patrick Motepe bana. Uh, you know now he's in charge of Confederation of African Football as the president. He owned, is it Mamelodi Sundowns? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and hiyo team bani kicheza Kaf Champions League, unasikia gore, sisi tuna travel, tukianga ikanga ika, wale hata wakienda pale PSL, Premier, Premier Soccer League match ni flight bana machopa nini nini so i think it's high time our business also can emulate on what the offices is counterparts are doing too yeah but but also i think uh you see uh we more cocoa business when you are lazima pia kiasi apende ball you know yeah passion yeah passion, passion lazima iko also be there a bit maybe akwe mtu anapenda sports uh, but again when you are pia ball inaweza kuwa base sport ya kufanya pia zako unaona ku create company yako ionekane ku advertise pia ukijiandika kwa nini so kwa sababu through sports kuna ile visibility eh, kuna visibility juu kuna unapata coverage kwa adizi tona squeeze kuna coverage utazipata kwa tv utazipata mtu anaziongelea kwa news zina zinaonyeshwa kwa sports na pia sasa Kenya tu inabaki ni, ni maybe sasa zikuwe mo coverage ongezeke mo maybe uko unapata billboards kibao zinaongezeka kwa nini maybe matches kadhaa zinapatikana na YouTube live ama hata kwa, kwa TV mainstream ni it's all about to coverage kujionyesha ndo kila mtu atataka juu pia hiyo wakiona hii tunaona na watu wa wengi sana au business guys anapenda ball ama apendi ball ataku attracted to it the last time to witness hmm. eh, mouth watering visibility ni ile time ya sport pesa sharks wakitaka kucheza na Everton kila mahali bana Theo Walcott anakuja na pia ile ya uh, uh, TZ Super Cup flani yenye kina Wayne Rooney yeah, walicheza yeah, na Gore yeah. na pia wasa wakaenda Hull mm -hmm. kina Poloso waka travel kama majono wakaenda Hull City ku cover yeah. I don't know pia it's high time eh, sisi kama stakeholders wa sports 
tu, tufanye vitu zenye zita attract corporates kwa on board. Unajua corporates pia wana shy away. Kabisa marketing ni poa sana. Lakini mm. negativity kwa kwa social media pia na hat. <laughs> <laughs> um, KPL chat wana eh uh, especially hapo kwa KPL chat. Uh, kuna watu wamekuwa ni kama hao wanataka kama wako patie hiyo kitu wanajaribu kui uh, kuimwagia maji ama kuiharibu. Uh, ni mwana msonya akiongea kuna ka clip ya msonya kanaongea me go round akisema Kenyans uh, love gossiping and drinking beer. They don't love football. Oh, oh, oh. That is the clip that he spoke about i think kulikuwa na sekafa sometime back several yeah, years ago yeah. anasema wasa wanakataa kwenda ku watch Kenya na Sudan nyayo wako Nairobi West wanaona wanaona Arsenal na West Brom kabisa <laughs> uh, tuanze kupenda vitu zetu tupande uh, tupende uh, vitu zetu mimi nimeenda Mombasa Road uh, game kwa uh, nyao stadium kwa na meeting Mombasa Road nikiangalia hapa naona game ni mwisho wake ni KBC nafikiri wanaoisha siku live hapo mm. na game ya Europe sijui hao watu Kaizi <laughs> place zetu zi joints zetu unaona tunafaa tu tupende vitu zetu tukianzia hapo tutakuwa poa kabisa alafu negativity pia tupunguze jukiongea kitu uh, negative about corporate pia wapendi controversy controversy mm. zimekuwa mob sana especially umeona sura ya FKF site kwa ni kateka committee mm. alafu nimekuja ku realize wewe umekuwa kwa sports umekuwa sports mimi na yetu na cover tunafanya hizi vitu zote unajua football ni kwa sana kuliko hizo sports zingine na mbali sana kulingana na vile zina manejiwa zile kuna kitu ziko huko kwingine mm. ni zaidi unaona so at least na free stakeholder select yote unaongea kusuti yako kuongea kuhusu mtu ina uangalie implications za hiyo kitu mm. kama code bureau sisi tumesumbuka tena sana sponsors unapata sponsors unakosa unapata sponsor ume struggle umetafuta sponsors umejituma umesaka eh, kidogo utaangalia mtu ameandika sana sana mpaka kuna wengine ni ni sad watu wanasema ni mwana habari anajua situation especially story of sport pesa sport pesa ilitoa tena sana kila mtu alikuwa anajua sport pesa hajatoa do Kenya rugby union ndio ikawapeleka kotini nakumbuka nafikiri wakaya wakashinda kesi hiyo kesi juu ilienda gaje kila mtu anajua vizuri sana sport pesa ku release funds kuja kwa coach biro lakini bado kuna mtu ataenda pale aseme vile mmekula hiyo pesa vile pesa imeliwa na imeliwa unaona hizo ni vitu zinakuja zina hurt hizi nini zetu Ana. Yeah. Hiyo image ya hiyo sport. Yeah. Afu ya uliganism, tumejaribu kufanya hizo vitu zote vitu ziko. But the important factor ya uliganism to fanya aje ndo ball league grow, my fans was invade pitch ku ile violence. Watu accept outcome bana. Ikuwa mmeshindwa, mmeshinda, me draw. Hiyo ni unajua ukiasolt kawaida ya ball. Ukiasolt mtu kuna consequence hapo. Unaweza mm. pele kwa kotini na ukashtakiwa. Mm. Nimeona makarao wetu wamekuwa kiteta sana. Makarao mm. anakuja na unao mwezi ameameshikwa. Ame utasikia mtu akwenda kutoa ushahidi mtu akifanya hivi na vile mm. inabidi ule mwizi amekuja pele kwa ana, anaangaisha sio unapata ile inabidi mtu anaenda na ule huko kando same na sisi unaona mtu amekuwa assaulted sisi kama ofisi tunajaribu kufuate mambo mtu tufuate process yote mtu lazima ashikwe juu kama uh, ule mtu uh, ile assault ilifanyika last court bureau kwa kwa jamaa nasikia ni former prison warden unaona alipigana ngumi juu ya tie ni boxer kwa kiwanja sasa so, unaona na ilikuwa kwa uja mali pigu amesaultiwa alikuwa anafanya process zote. Hiyo example kwa watu wengine. Uwezi kuja tu unapiga watu wamekuja kucheza ball au watu watu fight. Unaona? Watu wamekuja kucheza mpira, unapiga mzazi wa mtu, baba mtu, ndugu ya mtu, unapiga ngumi na ni football. Ni football tu ni ball. Pia mko mko na appeals committee yenye yenye labda team kama iko haiko uh, satisfied na verdict yenu ya kuwa punish pia wanaweza appeal. Eh wanaweza appeal committee iko. Tuali appeal dala so appeal kafuatilia tukaonyesha iwezi. Oso Dallas wako reinstated. Eh, ah wako. Au tumabaliki kabisa, kabisa kabisa. Kabisa kabisa. Ofo ni long term. Long term kabisa. Eh, na mchezaji pia tumemban kabisa juu anakuja na tuharibia image ya, ya game yetu. Unaona? Hawa anajiangalia hao lakini unajua hapo una, una rubu kitu kubwa. Can do you think that also should be emulated in Kenya Premier League so that you know fan violence msetu akuwe responsible tuseme wewe utaikanyaga nyayo kuona kusupport team yako madhare kama umeleta ngori eh yeah, ika kuligani si miko level 2 zote kenya na pia docking of points kitambo yeah. ilikuanga punishment mzuri nowadays it is never done eh yeah, hizo zote but i think hiyo kuban mse hiyo itago for a long and because uh, ukiangalia from grassroots to top level especially gorne fc wakicheza hizo times zao kuligani si inakuanga tu sana watu wanaingia pitch ama sasa zingine unapata watu wanakuja na tupa tu vitu kwa pitch i think ko identify mtu na kumban kabisa singe stadium like hiyo ndio itamake effect you the next guy yataogopa imfanyike hata tupa jo na jo rafiki yake yako home haizi watch game juu alitupa hizi vitu i think hiyo kuban ni more serious than 
na pia hiyo kudock points kwani za combine ndo iko serious ndo before ta league it take responsibility club yenyewe it take responsibility jo attack katwa points club it take responsibility itabidi pia individual sasa take responsibility as cost club yake na si cost yeah. uh, so umesema prize uh, money for the winner ni ni 300000 mm-hmm. but easy Easy team zingine runners up third Awatapata place pia watapata eh, lakini ndio najua ni hivyo alafu tuna big up sana eh, area MCA ni family cent mgadi mm. yeah. eh, ali push tukapata hii sponsorship hapo kutupa kuangatia na vitu ziko poa so far kila kitu kopoa vijana so mambo inaelewa vizuri shida hakuna watu wamecooperate mm. hakuna violence incident tu kidogo ilifanyika alafu area administration au uh, police hapo kwa chief hapo ziwani wanafanya job poa kabisa alafu watu pia na behave uh, watu wote wako bureau familia kwa bureau watu wameanza kuwa enlightened sasa na kujua pia essence ya kuna haja uh-huh. kwa poa unatumboka tuna timu ya kajado pia anaweza kwa bureau hapo ile za kila kwa na kitambo eh yeah, hao wako oh. wamekuwa pia hata na kwa nao baadaye leo mm. eh yeah, pia wamekuja participate walitolewa lakini eh controversial lakini walikuja ka relax mm. eh, ni bao hakuna VR kwa so kuna point yenye mkuu unaguzia maana sana a investment mm. uh, for the future ndo kukuwe na longevity team is pay so tatu alafu ikule wagawane sijui 555 kwa kule pesa ishe mm-hmm. waanze kutabika next time so mnafanya nini training nini nini on investment pia tumepanga kufanya vitu kama hizo nimekuambia ile kwa tumeanzisha ni hiyo ya match and dice kwanza hizo na majazi mm. ina ilikuwa successful pande ya nyoi mm. tunataka kila team to watch our design ya kila team logo yao haikufanyika this time kuna mm. kitu haiku huenda poa kabisa lakini ile tuna tunafanya ni kama team tuseme ni ya uh, isli logo yao wanatupatia tunatengenezea tuna jamaa mm. tunatoa hizo majezi mm. wanaanzia hapo mm. alafu pia unaweza kwa labda ni watu wana supply gimaji mafano hii team tunaweza watafute partnership na hizi mtu ana supply tuseme maji kama hii hapo mm. tuseme ye, team ni ya ziwani pale so kama hii kama hiyo maji na support team kwa kila duka pale watastoki maji ndio tuzoe pale alafu kufana kijua kijua hii maji ni kibai pale najua kuna tubo au matribo pinaenda kwa team kitu kama hizo tunataka kuangalia alafu kwa nipatu watu eh, ma training Uh, mara mingi sana nimeka pale pale coach bidon nimekuja nikaelewa ball sana zaidi na selena kana referee trend ama coach kuna vitu ananiambia za rules za games Unajua na technical pia eh, kuna vitu mambo ya handball kuna hii handball iko aje kwa hivyo ama vile yeah, yani rules iko aje jua sana sana mara mingi sana si atujuage rules ukigundua vizuri mm. kuna vile watu na hiyo si offside lakini utaka na mtu atakunsho hiyo ni offside ama kuna vile hata kwa hata kwa hiyo vitu mingi sana ana tukifundisha marefari waoga kila mtu sema referee ni mbaya sasa referee waoga mzuri kwa nani si atujua <laughs> referee anakuwa mzuri time yenye yeah. eh, things have gone your way eh, sana fikiri pia si wengi watu wetu watu wengi tunafuatilia pia training tujue vitu kadhaa kulingana na rules za game wow polos it's been nice having you on the show bana thanks for come through so tutaendelea kukuja hiyo coach biro ken pia utoke bana huko huko mm. Babini pia ukuje Island huku kwetu tu watch code bureau pamoja. Si umesikia hakuna violence. Saini yeah. peace. Peace mm. peace poloza. Peace kabisa hakuna violence yote iko pale kwetu. Lakini bana during finals politician watakuja wa, hopefully they will not overshadow the game itself. Yeah. Tunajua yeah. pia politicians who come sasa alafu wao ndo wanapewa attention hadi sasa tumesahau ni game inafai chezwe. Tuna try as much as we can kujaribu kuzuia hiyo uh, tulishindwa ku separate football na politics tulishindwa kitambo kidogo <laughs> yeah. but but kuna ile experience tumekuwa nayo pale kwa bidio ku host crowd ndo takuwa kubwa kwa maana ile crowd ndo noma mm. crowd ndo noma jo itaja tena sana najua but mambo politicians to manage to to less situation take care of itself eh, hopefully itakuwa poa eh jo your final day i dictate uh, tournament yote hiyo ni final two the so far zisha fanyika nafikiri so far mimi kwangu nisha tusha achieve oh, unaona ku uh, impress na achieve, uh, like say your final day ndo si haribike haribu hiyo kitu yote tumefanya ah yeah. thanks for coming through paul polosa to tournament director code bureau football tournament currently underway happening entering the quarter final stage of course the venue remaining to be Ziwani grounds which Polosa says politicians have promised that it will be refurbished and hopefully we're looking forward to that development and so it pans out thank you for staying with us keep getting locked touchline is the show y254 sika max is my name ken andrew is my guest co-host we still on until three o'clock coming up shortly is the review of african cup of nations currently happening in cameroon don't go away stay tuned <laughs>